Hello everybody, it's Claire here from My Creative Spirit with a new project to share with you. This is our file folder kit, altered in papers from the Life is a Journey collection by Graphic 45. I've taken the Patterns and Solids 12x12, 12 12, the 8x8 collection, some of the ephemera cards and then the stickers, chipboard and the new die cut elements and put them all together to create a slightly different file folder or travel folder than you may have previously seen. So let's talk you through the cover first. Cut from 3mm MDF, I've got a sturdy cover, it comes flat packed, there are five pieces, and then inserts to add your magnets to create a magnetic closure on the cover. And then for this one, I've added a vertical ribbon that ties around both the inside and outside cover, just to be different. And when you open that up, you can see I've used one ephemera card, one large one, cut it, added an insert of leftover paper, this lovely floral paper, and then one of the new die cuts on the front, which has got these lovely cut out corners. And then I put two layers of glossy accents on there just to really um, create a relief on that wording and on the postcard as well. And then down here on the little words. And then I've highlighted all of the centers of the flowers. And if you run your hand over it, you can feel it all. I like it. <laughs> Anyway, opening up, oh, and it's sitting on patterns and solids. So for the cover, I've used patterns and solids and this gorgeous purple paper, the florals, to, whoops, to create, and if I turn the cover right over, you'll be able to, to see what it looks like. So two sheets of paper, whoops, and you can see how beautifully the papers go together. I've separated it out with a border here. So that's one 12 by 12 sheet. That's the other 12 by sheet, 12 sheet running the other way. And then the gap in the middle, um, I filled with a border and added a little border here too. And I love it. Absolutely love it. I'm just looking at it now, admiring it. <laughs> anyway, let's close it up. Bring this little ephemera card back in and take you through. So on an earlier binder, I'd put a notice board on this inside right-hand cover. But this time I've just put a top pocket so that you can tuck things into it and a tuck spot at the bottom again so that you can tuck pictures in there. That keeps that flat, which means the magnets close onto the front of the cover and just as an extra security, I added that ribbon tie. And then opening up to the left, I've put a nice pocket at the bottom here. And that is the 8x8 paper the signature sheet. And I love the boat and it just cut perfectly to create a pocket. And then I put a large photo mat in the pocket. It's got a sticker on, one of the cutouts from the paper, on this beautiful um, purple paper with all of the lettering. And then inside I've used that gold paper with all of the planes, trains, automobiles and bicycles on. And then on the back I've just put a little bit of border to finish it off and it all sits on that gorgeous blue paper again with the script and the large letters running in the background and then that swirly art deco pattern as well and then to match the logo on here i've used a chipboard piece up there just to coordinate on the page so that's the inside cover we've got a ring binder or a d-ring and then in this version, I've added some acetate pockets. They're great if you want to put tickets in, ephemera, all those little bits and pieces that you like to keep from your travels, receipts. Um, and you can see both sides of it. So you can add all sorts into there. So I've added one of those. We've got four pages in the album. Each has a tuck spot. 
so that you can add your pictures underneath it rather than sticking them onto the page and each one has also got a pull out photo mat as well so in the album I've gone for purples blues and blacks and then accented it with the lovely golds and yellows so that's page one and flipping over we've got another acetate pocket here I put little eyelets around the holes as well just to um, finish off on those little binder sections so page two again it's got a tuck spot a nice large pull out photo mat and I've used the 8x8 papers to coordinate with that gorgeous blue on the inside cover. I always leave them plain on the back just so that you can add your pictures. But you could decorate them both sides if you wanted to. And then page two is slightly larger. In this album as well, I've put all of the pages level so that they stagger upwards and outwards. But sit flush at the bottom which is just a slightly different to the previous two um, file folders I've shared with you and again we've got the travel theme going through with the bicycles we've got the bicycles on the back here that fabulous black script coordinates and also the lettering in the background runs through on the bicycles as well and you can see it here on the purple paper. This collection was just fabulous to put together. I really loved the way that all of the papers work together. There's a really fabulous balance of colours and images through them so that they coordinate. And then I've used the large ephemera card here as the photo mat and that just hooks under the tuck spot on this page. Little ephemera card here. I've gone for the purple this is my favourite. I love the purple papers. I love this sort of blueprint sketching of the words, of the letters. And again, it follows through everywhere. Little ephemera card there. A large acetate page here with the large ephemera card on the front and a smaller one on the back. And then we've got a sort of a photo holder. Again, with room to put whatever you want to tuck into it really they'll hold quite a lot you can layer all your pictures portrait or landscape into these and add lots into your projects then we're up to the next size of page got two little ephemera cards in there i love these i just love the colors and then a large pull out photo mat Again, I've just put the tab on but left it plain on the back and you can see the orange tone pulling through now to coordinate with um, the posters really, the Art Deco posters, travel posters that run through the collection. And then flipping over, we've got to the florals and I thought this had a Macintosh feel to it, so Rennie, Charles Rennie Macintosh sort of florals i was having a look to see the similarities um real art deco and again you can see that blueprint sketch of the lettering running through the back of those flowers and the black background and then i've used the journal side of the ephemera cards so that if you put the photo on the front you've got somewhere to write about it on the back and that tucks under that page and then we've got another pocket holder with a large ephemera card in and the little one I've used that twice I loved it so much with the little plane and they just sit I can sit either way but really just sit that way otherwise it's too wide for the album and then flipping over those are plain on the back another ephemera card here sitting on this page and again it's just tucked under the tuck spot and then a narrower photo mat in the last page, only because if it's too wide, it butts up against this spine and gets curled up. So slightly narrower. And then flipping over the last of the tuck spots. 
So lots and lots of room to add lots and lots of elements into this type of album. You could, if you don't like putting a ring binder in, you could create a spine and pop your pages on the spine if you want to as an alternative and just ignore the holes that are punched in the cover set. And then right at the back, rather than having a waterfall of pictures, I've put a nice deep pocket using the blue paper just to keep the theme going across the cover of the album and then made a large fold out photo mat again giving you lots of room to put your pictures on and then just added one small ephemera card into the pocket and that's edged with two of the sticker strips and a chipboard piece we've got a sticker over here and another one up on this far side saying sail away and then that lovely image of the boat and the plane again on that large ephemera card in the pocket. So I hope you've enjoyed the walkthrough of my latest file folder altered in Life's a Journey Papers by Graphic45. I'll put the link to the cover set and the bundle in the description below the video along with a link to these gorgeous papers. The cover set and the bundle come with an assembly guide. I haven't done a specific PDF for the project but there's a full assembly guide with videos that takes you through how to put the covers together, how to cut the pages, all the page options and pocket options if you want to add those and then it includes a generic cutting guide for papers to cover each of the surfaces and then you decide what embellishments you want to add. So thanks very much for watching. Happy crafting. If you've enjoyed the video do give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and then you'll be kept up to date with new products and projects as they come out. Thanks for watching.